Good morning, world. Good morning out there. See what time it is. <laughs> Looking at my Gucci, it's about that time. <laughs> I don't really have a Gucci. What are we doing today? We are doing his brand new song. His. Church. His. I Who is his? his? Who's his? Who him is? Who? <laughs> you guys know who this is, right? Tom McDonald. We're about to do it. So it's a new song, Church. So, uh, uh congregation, uh, the, uh, Greater Tom McDonald, uh, Brandon Hart, Nova Church Upon the Hill is uh, open. The doors of the church are open. Everybody come. I'm Cedric. <laughs> I'm Brian, and this is Cedric and Brian. <laughs> Cedric, where did you uh, where did you get that That's in voice? My, my uncle's a Baptist minister in Mississippi. Ah. <laughs> yes, Lord, <laughs> Lord is good. <laughs> you sound like you sound like who's the guy the actor who was with uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, oh, Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall. Yeah. Yeah, Lord, yes, the Lord is good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Well, before we get to Tom, still can get ten oh. percent off our hats. What's the uh, what's the the code? The code is C and B ten. In the promo code, you get ten percent off all the hats, including the camel hat that you've been asking about. Camel hat's right here. I don't have one yet, but there it is on the screen. And uh, that's how you can support Cedric and Brian. Yes. Because I hate to tell you, all you hog fans out there, I know you're tuning in for this. You all tell us, don't worry, Tom doesn't put any copyright strikes, mm -hmm. anything like that. Well, he may not strike like not letting you use it, but nobody doesn't let you use it on these things. But as you can see right here, they're slowly blocking all of our Tom McDonald reviews from getting uh, monetized. So I, I don't know. I've appealed them. One of them they let go through, and then... Uh, um, People so stupid. Mm -hmm. We were getting paid on it, and then all of a sudden, they struck it down, and we're not getting monetized. So we need all you hogs to storm the castle gates. <laughs> so, and like I said, we're not doing these to make money, but it, you know, we're just answering what our commenter said. No, Tom doesn't care. Go ahead. We are promoting his stuff. So, right. and so one of the things we got to work on. We got to work on. You put your phone away. Yep, I did that. We're going to show our faces in this reaction. Faces are going to be <laughs> in this reaction. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what else do we need to work on? Um, that's about it. That's it. And this one, for Cedric, it's actually, you know how we say we're not a reaction channel. Cedric has never seen this video. Yeah. I watched it once this morning uh, when Cedric was on his way over, yeah. just sitting with my wife. So I really haven't taken apart the words yet. So this is going to be almost a true reaction. Right. Should we do those fake reaction things like everybody does? Like, <gasps> <gasps> how could you? <laughs> like, we'll overact. We'll yeah. do that. All right. All right, so before we do that, Cedric needs to call to action. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Um, <laughs> make sure, yeah, my goodness, I'm just losing it. Hey, you guys liking our stuff. We appreciate it. Uh, I've been pinning that as the first comment in our uh, YouTube comments, but make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you ring that bell, and share our videos with everyone you know. All right, let's hit it. Let's hit it. All right, here we go. Cedric's first time watching Church. I need a short drink or a long prayer I've been sober but I don't care I'm so scared of my own self I get no help and that's no fair So don't go there, I've been hell and back I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap I got empty bottles and a million bottles I regret swallowing the Ativan mm. Anything right off the bat? Uh, right off the bat, this is, uh, this is different from his other stuff He's uh, a little bit more subdued We always say Tom comes out swinging But I like this, there's some vulnerability and a lot of you, thank you, Hog family. You've educated us on Tom and Nova's background, that they have a problem with uh, drugs and alcohol. So it's like he's just kind of kind of coming out and saying, I've got some issues. I got some things going on. And uh, he's scared. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a lot for a for a man to say, too. I, I'm scared. And uh, it, I, I got some scorched hair under this Gucci cap. I said, you guys are seeing me blow up, me and Nova blow up and reach success. Yeah. But they're, under this Gucci hat and the, the stuff that I'm wearing, there's some scars. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Anything else on that? No, no I, I like that. I like the the Freddy Krueger sweater <laughs> he's got going on there. I like how he almost started singing at the beginning and then kind of went into the rap. Right. You know, I like to stretch out there. I mean, the, the Freddy Krueger sweatshirt and being scorched, yeah. burning. 
I know I'm reaching again, but I like that. <laughs> He's got the Holy Bible right there, too. Yeah. I don't care. I'm so scared of my own self. I get no help, and that's no fair. So don't go there. I've been hell and back. I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap. I got empty bottles and a million bottles. I regret swallowing the Advent. <laughs> Let's be real. I resent the way that I feel. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk, and I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. I said my prayers. When I got clean, it just got worse. I quit doing drugs, and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. Oh, my goodness. I love the vulnerability, and it's a and I for um, I forget, but it, we all deal with this. And I believe it was uh, Saint Peter that said, "The things that I want to do, I don't do, and the things that I don't want to do, I do." Yeah. And we're all faced with that. Like he said, I'm trying to overcome the stuff with alcohol and the drugs, but it's calling to me. Yeah. It's calling to me, and like, and I love the fact that he's just being so real with everybody. Yeah. Worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. This don't work, it hurts. I went to church, now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass, I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Mm. Go to hell and back. I'm sorry, I like that. Yeah? I take the knives out of my back to stir it. The knives from the, the haters? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I kind of like the, um, and this is again, because my, my background, he said I, I called to Jesus, but he didn't hear my words. This is kind of something that I say to a lot of people. It's like, oh, he hears them all, if, if you believe in that. He hears them all. But uh, I've always been told there's one of three answers. Yes, no, or not right now. So yeah. whatever Tom is asking for, and then he's, yeah. the, the, the response is, yeah, I'll do that for you, Tom, or, or no, Tom, or you're not ready for that yet. Well, some people, they don't hear it. And that's old, that old parable about the person drowning, and a right. boat comes along, and a plane, right. and everything. And they say, right, no, right, no, right. no, I'm waiting for God. Right. Well, God just sent you everything. Right. So some people just don't hear yeah what's right there obviously tom's he's overcome already so he's i mean he's doing good yeah. i mean but he's showing in the song it's a struggle but guess what life is a struggle and that's yeah. what i relate to modern society anybody who struggles just wants to blame somebody else they think right. they need to be coddled right tom's saying no you, life's hard yeah we got to be careful because we people, can make this a 30 minute yeah, video people, people need to know that <laughs> life's hard with courage, whiskey in my glass, I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Go to hell and back again, then show you burns to prove I earned it. I need shots of God to gain the strength I need, I'm just a person. I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door. Cause I lay in my grave if the whiskey bars like it did before. I'm scared, I send out a prayer. It's good. This this can be an hour long video, um, and like he's just he and Nova being vulnerable. They're getting on their knees, um, submitting, and uh, saying they need help. I like the part he said whiskey in my glass. My question is, is it Hennessy? Because that was a reference to the last song. He's not black. He's not black. Okay. And, um, and like you just said, everyone goes through stuff. But I think um, I love the quietness of this song because yeah. sometimes you don't hear voices because. There's so much noise in our life. Yeah. We have uh, things that are going on with social media and we're looking at our phones and we're rushing here and rushing there. And I always take time. It's, it's kind of hard to listen when you're always going. Yeah. It's just to be quiet for a little bit and it takes practice to, to do that. Yeah. Uh, to tell a friend of mine is like, says she goes to sleep with the TV on yeah. because the quiet is too loud. Yeah. No. It's, it's, it's incredible. Like I said before, I, just, I love the vulnerability and, the, and, and just showing that he's real, that he's, yeah. he's, he's human. Yeah. I keep talking to God, but he don't hear me. And my demons are there, always listening. I get lost in the dark, drowning in whiskey. And I went in so far, you say you miss me. I'm on a ship in a bottle, so say goodbye at the shore. Break the glass, so you'll find me. I'm not who I was before. Close my eyes in the darkness and hold on to the storm. This is Brandon. Huh? Yeah. This is Brandon. And uh, showing a quieter side to him, too. Yeah. Um, shows that these rappers can sing with a, a quiet voice. Kind of yeah. a, but kind of intimate. It, it brings you in. Yeah. I'm going to speak more to the, the musicality of it. So yeah. this song brings you in because that's it's, a, it's an introspective song. You have to get introspective with it. Yeah. So. Well, a lot of the Hogg family, they let us know in, in a lot of previous videos that um, Tom used to be involved in, in poetry. Like yeah. a 
reading poetry and stuff like that this this seems like that like the the spoken word and uh, i love what brandon hart is saying here about the the demons they're always listening and if you go back to the parable and uh, and again whether you're you're a christian or not and you believe in this stuff you know the parable of of the the satan in the in the garden it came in a whisper it wasn't loud clanging and banging it was a, it was a whisper it was that that soft thing that calls you like they're talking about the alcohol yeah yeah no i i know for those of you who watched our our video on no good bastards you know i wasn't i wasn't the biggest fan of that one just musically you know we were going to bring this up cedric said look at any of your artists i'm a big queen fan uh, uh name your group van halen led zeppelin you don't like every single one of their songs. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, you know, be honest out there. I have a confession. <laughs> Michael Jackson's off the wall. Yeah. She's out of my life. I, I just, I struggled with it. Come on. You know you cried right along with Michael. <laughs> I t- Michael's just so sensitive. <laughs> All right, let's move on. All right. I'm a wreck in a bottle. I wasn't built for a war. There's church pews, bright lights. Whiskey glasses, bottles of booze, make short days, turn long nights. The bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. Mm. Line, huh? Oh, that, this, the this, Bible, this, the bottle. It's that eternal conflict that man had. I, I wanted, I want to do what's right, but I keep getting called to this. And I tell people, like some people, like who say they give their life. It's like you may have to do that again, several times. I mean, I, there's been times where I have to do it several times a day. You know, depending on what's going on. I, I love this because he's talking about church, and that's a hard thing to do in this culture. Yeah. Uh, because nothing is mocked more, nothing is ridiculed more than religion and church. And I'm not putting this down, but it's it's easy to talk about. If you say a mosque, everybody's okay with that. If you say church that has a different, yeah. you're weird. Like something's like, oh, you're one of them. Yeah. That's, I, I'm that's, loving this. That's what they've been putting in. And I'm... As you guys know, I'm not the religious guy. He's he's the religious Christian. I am not. Um, but this stuff spiritually still speaks to me as having to choose. You still have to choose. Do I just want to live the life of grabbing everything that just makes me feel good at the time? Right. Or am I going to be a happier person putting that off and choosing other paths? And I think in the long run, at least in my experience in my life, in my 55 years, just going for something that feels good at the time did not make me a happier person. Right. That's the whole concept of delayed gratification. Yeah, and that's what they're saying. I mean, it's easy. I'll, let's just go get high all the time. Right. But what happens, it destroys your life, and he's found a different path. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I, and from what I hear, Brandon is who helped him on his path when he was at his lowest. So thank you to our Hog fans who shared that I with didn't us. didn't know what to choose. I pray on my way to the liquor store. Bible still with me. My eyes can't see from the bottles of whiskey. I don't believe anybody will miss me. See, that's uh, I just stopped there because we all feel that. Yeah. We all feel what's gonna happen when I'm gone. Nobody's gonna miss me when I'm gone. Right. And uh, it's just uh, that's why you just have to do what you feel is best for mankind and best. And, and we talk about this, what we've gotten away with in our society. We want the government to control everything. Take care of yourself first, your family, your community, then your country, then the world, in right. that order. Right, Don't right, try right. to save the world before you've even saved yourself. Right. That's that's what I get from yeah. it. Well, I like the part where he says, I can't read the Bible. It's, um, and so I mean, reading the Bible, it's just, it's even that's an awkward thing. I just mentioned earlier in the last stanza that mentioning the word church as opposed to mosque is kind of looked down upon. But if you're out in public in a, in a public square and you're reading the Bible, people will look at you kind of weirdly. Yeah. But if you're reading like a cosmopolitan magazine and said 72 ways to bring your partner to orgasm. Which people, you read a lot, right? Yeah, I read, I read that one. Actually, I wrote that article. <laughs> but people will be like, oh my goodness, are you a therapist? That That's kind of cool. But reading the Bible, speaking of, like in the, you know, 
Anyway, let's go on. I'll bring that up later. <laughs> well, people don't realize you can still get so much wisdom from the Bible, even if you're secular. Right. There's wisdom to be found in, in the there. parables. Yeah. And, and what the problem is, is nobody thinks that people have wisdom anymore w- over time. They think, all these young people, they think they have the answer. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and they discount right. years, thousands of years of, of wisdom. Please, anybody will miss me. one is i mean way different almost i'm almost afraid to talk too much about this one because anything that we say will just be superfluous i mean they this is one of those things and you guys called us out two songs before let the song speak for itself um i love when he says i prayed i prayed on my way to the liquor store yeah it's like i don't want to do this but it keeps calling out to me yeah and and i mean we don't we've never dealt with addictions well sexual addiction for you right yeah still am (laughs) Yeah. Lack thereof. <laughs> but we all have temptations. Yeah. You know, sometimes the temptations grow to the point where you become an addict, whether it's booze or drugs or sex or whatever it is. But even those that don't get to the point where it controls your life, you know you have temptations and you have to have that little, what do you say, that devil and the angel yeah. on your shoulder. Yeah. We all go through those decisions every day. For Tom and people like Tom that had to fight these addictions, it's a little stronger for them. And, right. yeah. and and I used to tell people this all the time that aren't religious. It's like, why do these people turn to religion to get over stuff? If it gets them past a addiction that is ruining their life, it's a beautiful thing. Right. Like he said, it's, you know, get down on your knees and pray. And there was a lot of symbolism in this song. Oh, I mean, yeah. His room yeah. was full of crosses. Yeah. Um, Brandon was dancing in front of a church. Or, yeah. You know, singing in front of a church. Yeah. Um, if that is your way, you should not put people down for choosing their path that brings them to a better place, right. a better human being. Yeah. And um, like, you know, like I said, we have different paths when it comes to our, the way we may, you know, pray to God, but um, it, it, you have to pick what's right for you, right? Right, exactly, right. exactly. You know, like my um, people always ask me, well, Cedric, isn't, isn't God a crutch? Isn't religion a crutch? And I say, yes, it is. It's um, because I need help. I can't do it on my own and a lot of people and Brian just said this, have other crutches, whether that be alcohol, drugs, sexual addiction. Government programs, government programs. Uh, BLM, Antifa, that is their religion. Yeah. That is just as much of a religion, but guess what? You don't see the people going to church going and burning things. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah it and, is. And I know what people say, oh, look in history, you know, the Crusades. It, it's, it's not, we're talking modern day. Right. Modern day. Right. And some of so, you have heard this before. The church is not full of perfect people because... Because we're not perfect. If, if it was, I, I wouldn't be allowed in. But it is, <laughs> it's, it's more of a... And you may have heard this before. It's more of a hospital. It's where sick people go. People who have issues. People who are dealing with things. And then they go there. And, and Tom and Brandon and Nova, they kind of uh, illustrate that to a T. Like, well, we're, we're sick. We need help. Yeah, you guys are seeing us all pumped up and excited. And we're pumping up our next video. But when we close those doors and we're by ourselves... We're dealing with stuff. And they're looking for answers. And you go to church to look for answers. You go out in the streets on these protesters, and they think they have all the answers. They're not looking for answers. They think they have. Any of you who have teenagers, you know, they know everything, right? Basically, that's what this the people out protesting, the BLM, the Antifa, they're like a bunch of teenagers that think they know everything. When you grow up, you realize you don't know anything, and you look for answers, and you grow as a human being over the years right so well the ho- I, I like this one yeah I, I i can see this being used in the years to come at uh, at youth gatherings yeah actually I, it, it's that it's, it's that awesome anyway you guys did not uh tune in to hear cedric and brian give a sermon you came in to give our <laughs> review on this song um i give it a 11 out of 10 i love it yeah it was good i i liked it musically and lyrically so it it fits both it ticks both boxes for me yes we will uh 
end with a call to action one more time. Make sure you uh, like, make sure you uh, subscribe, and make sure you ring that bell and share our videos with everyone you know. And uh, just to piggyback on this one, be good to each other. If you need help, uh, leave us that in the comments as well. And uh, we're, we're all we're all one big family. Until next time, I'm Cedric. I'm Brian, we'll see you later. Thank you.